But Jesus Christ came into this world 2,000 years ago. He was born as a holy child and he lived a holy life and he shed his holy blood on the cross of Calvary and he rose again on the third day because he is a God with no sin and then he shed his holy blood for the man and that blood exactly matches the soul of the man hallelujah that's the reason man is forgiven in Jesus Christ for every sin that is done no matter which country you belong to, no matter which gender you belong to, Jesus' blood can forgive you and cleanse you. 1 John 1 9 says, If we confess our sins, He is faithful and just to forgive our sins because He has the power for you to cleanse our sins, our soul without any spot. Amen. Amen. Right, brothers. And sisters, I want you to think for a moment. I came with a message that gives you life, in fact, eternal life. And uh, man has been so creative since he was uh, created. And uh, he has been inventing so many things. And it is good to know that man invented medicine for every health issues. And we all need medicine for our health issues. And when we get unhealthy, we go to a doctor. Because doctor knows which medicine will heal us. So we go to the doctor and whatever the medicine the doctor prescribes, we take it because we all want to be well. So we are always thinking about our physical health. We are taking care of our bodies. We have to think about our soul. It is good to take care of our bodies. It is good to go to a doctor when you feel unhealthy. It is good to take a medicine to get well. But you have to think about that because man has a soul in it. Amen. You are living in a body because you have soul in you. And you have to think about that soul. Because when you die, the soul continues to live. Right. The soul has so many diseases and it needs medicine to get well. If we see in the history, many people try to offer goats and sheep and they try to offer blood to God or to someone who can help them get well in their soul but it all gone vain because Jesus is the medicine for sin amen he came as a medicine Christianity is not a religion Jesus is the only way to heaven Jesus is the only medicine for your sin there is no other way that your soul can get well. The reason Jesus is the only medicine for your soul is because if you go back to the creation, I want you to think with me for a moment how man is created. Genesis chapter 2 verse 7 says, the Lord God had made man of the dust of the earth and he breathed into his nostrils the breath of life and then the man became human being. Yes. So when people try to offer the blood of goats and the blood of sheep and the blood of animals that never helped 
man to get well in his soul. I wanted to just give you an example. If you think if man's soul is in pure red color, and whenever the man sins, there will be a spot on this red, red color. When you try to offer the blood of the animals, the blood of goats and the blood of sheep, yes, the blood is in red color, but that blood will not match this blood. That's right. If you want to paint a wall, you have to get the exact code to cover that painting. With the technology now, we can easily understand. If you go to the Photoshop software, yeah, there are some hundreds of red colors. And if you try to put red color on this red color, and if that red color does not match this color, there will be definitely a war. It will not be covered. That's what happened in the history. When man tried to offer the blood of the animals for the forgiveness of sins, for the well-being of the soul, yes, the blood of goats and sheep and animals is red, but yet the soul that man was created in the red color did not match that color. So that's the reason when our man sins and tries to offer the blood, yet there were spots on the red color. But Jesus Christ came into this world 2,000 years ago. He was born as a holy child and he lived a holy life and he shed his holy blood on the cross of Calvary and he rose again on the third day because he is a God with no sin and when he shed his holy blood for the man and that blood exactly matches the soul of the man hallelujah that's the reason man is forgiven in Jesus Christ for every sin that is done no matter which country you belong to, no matter which gender you belong to, Jesus' blood can forgive you and cleanses you. 1 John 1 9 says, If we confess our sins, He is faithful and just to forgive our sins because He has the power for you to cleanse our sins, our soul without any spot. Amen. Amen. Thank you, brothers. And sisters, I want you to think for a moment. We all know that one day we will die. Our soul has to leave the body. No matter how much care you take about your health. No matter how, how well you try to live a good life. You right. will die one day. I will die one day. The people who are here will die one day. But I want you to think for a moment. What will happen when you die? What will happen after you are dead? The Bible says there are only two destinations. There are no countries as many as in this world when you die. There are only two destinations. If you accept Christ and if you confess Christ and if you receive Christ into your heart and if you cleanse your sins in the blood of Jesus Christ, you will go to the destination called heaven where yes. Jesus is. That's the destination you have to go because the other destination is not created for you. Because that destination is called hell and there is a burning fire where there is no death, where there is always weeping. God doesn't want us to go there. That's the reason Jesus Christ came into this world 2,000 years ago. And he came as a medicine for your sin. Your sin will not allow you to go into heaven because heaven is a holy place. And there's no place in heaven for the sin. And that's the reason Jesus came as a medicine to heal the sin of your soul and to help us to go into heaven. Amen. Glory to God. I want you to think for a moment. Can you please think and take care of your soul? Your soul is more precious 
than your body because this body has an expiry date but the soul doesn't have expiry date because God created soul to be with him always you may be standing here you may be hearing this voice without peace you may be struggling in your life you may have money you may have job you may have house you may have car you may have everything in this world but yet you are struggling inside that some hollowness that they, that, that that you don't have peace and you're trying to search it and peace is not a product that you go to a shop to buy you cannot get peace by paying money you cannot earn peace by doing something because jesus said i will do my peace because he is the prince of the peace and the peace that jesus gives you you will not get it from this world because the peace that he gives is a special peace that you can get nowhere else so if you want to get that peace this is the time for you the Bible says this is the day that the Lord hath made. Amen. This is the time for salvation. Don't neglect it. This is the right time. Jesus is calling you because he has shed his blood. He has opened his arms unto you. Oh, come my dear child. I have the medicine for the sin that you are struggling. You may be trying to find the solution through many ways. But I'm here to tell you, Jesus is the only way. He's the only truth. He's the only life. And there is no other way. And there is no other medicine. Please come unto Jesus. Please come unto Jesus. Because he wants to forgive you of your sins. He wants to cleanse you. He wants to give you the peace that you are looking for in your life. He wants to give you the eternal life. He wants to set your soul free from all kinds of sin and all kinds of, of sickness. Please come unto Jesus. All you have to do is you have to accept the Lord, what he has done on the cross of Calvary. When you go to the doctor, you take the medicine because you believe that it will heal you. In the same way you have to believe that Jesus has died for you and the blood that he has shed for you is the only medicine for your soul now believe in Jesus yes you believe in a doctor believe in Jesus and just say unto Jesus Jesus I am a sinner I tried my best to get rid of my sin I tried to get well in my soul but nothing happened and no one helped me and I realized that no one can help me because you are the only medicine now take that medicine in faith and right now Jesus will forgive you yes. he's ready to forgive you because he's a God that rejoices in forgiving you I need you. The blood of Jesus has power to cleanse us from all sins, from all unrighteousness. When you are cleansed with the blood of Jesus, that's when you receive the peace. And that's when you receive the joy. That's when you receive the healing. And that's when you receive a ticket to go into heaven. Jesus is the only way to heaven. I want you to see in heaven because no doubt we all are going to die one day and we don't know what will happen after our death but the Bible clearly says what will happen after the death. If you reject Jesus, there is a place called hell. My brothers, my sisters, my friends, I came from, e from India here to tell you that Hell is not a place that you should be. Heaven is a place where you should be. And that's the reason Jesus Christ has came. And that's the reason Jesus Christ is speaking to you through me today. Come on. Come unto Jesus. Accept Jesus. Trust in Him. 
call upon his name so that you shall be saved. When you believe in Jesus, you become the child of God. And if you want to grow in Jesus, we have books here. How to pray, how to worship. Yes. That books will help you to grow in Jesus. When you grow in Jesus, oh, I cannot express with my words, a blessed life is only found in Jesus. Not in money, not in property, not in anything of this world. Come unto Jesus. Come unto Jesus. If you are heavy laden yes. and don't have peace, Jesus said, Come unto me, I will give you rest. You may have traveled from this place to that place to find peace. But yes. nowhere is peace. You may be thinking, if I have money, I may have peace. No, that's not true. Because many rich people have killed themselves because they don't have peace. That's right. Because they could not find peace in anywhere. They thought the money is not sufficient. The money is not enough. So I cannot live on this world because I want peace. That's the reason they die. That's right. If you are lacking peace. Jesus is telling you, come unto me, I will give you peace. I will give you rest. I will give you eternal life. Yes. He is the medicine. Brother, can you can you please take a moment? Sister, can you please think for a moment with me? Because this is the most important thing. And this is the most important decision that you will make ever in your life. Yes. Accept Jesus. Receive Jesus. Call upon his name. This is the time. You don't know if you die tonight. I don't know if I die tonight. If you die tonight, where will you go after you are dead? That's right. Oh, you don't want to go into hell. That is a place where weeping and crying. I don't want you to go into that place because Jesus saved my life. He has cleansed my sins and he has blessed me with his faith. And he has given me rest. And I have a confidence that even if I die right now, Amen. I go to heaven to be with Jesus. Because he has given me the medicine. He has shed the blood that has to be shed to forgive your sins. Yes. Thank you, Lord. My sins are cleansed in his blood. Oh, I have a great joy. I have a great peace. I have the assurance of salvation. I want you to have the same thing. Jesus, ask Jesus, I need the Lord. Jesus, forgive me of my sins. He's ready to forgive you. We will be here for some time. Just think for a moment. While you are walking, while you are going to the beach, while you see the sea, just think for a moment. Have you ever wondered why God has put the seashore the Bible says that God has put sand on the seashore even though when the waves rise up and come that they would not prevail so it is a God's creation and God is asking his people to fear him because he has died for you the fear of the Lord is to hate evil is to hate sin when you fear God You don't want to sin. So come unto Jesus to have a holy life, to have a peaceful life, to have a pure life. I know you want to buy few things. When you go to a gold shop, you check the purity of it. When you buy something, you check the purity of it because you want to have something that is pure. But you have a pure soul. Must have the forgiveness, yes, and that forgiveness is only found in Jesus Christ. The Bible says there is no other name in heaven or on the earth or under the earth that you can be saved. The only name that you have salvation is the name of Jesus Christ. Come unto Him now, right now. This is the time. Come unto Jesus. Come unto Jesus. Jesus is ready to forgive you. He loves you. He loves you with an everlasting love. And 
that's the reason he wants to give you an eternal life. So this is the time for you. Come unto Jesus and receive him and accept him and receive the medicine for sin and let your soul go unto Jesus and be in heaven forever and yes, ever. Yes. And the Lord bless these words. Yes. Amen. That's the day when I will be here and we would love to pray for you. We would love to pray for you.